What's going on, people? I hope everybody is cool. So I wanted to hop on here real quick, man, and respond to one more thing that Hassan Campbell said in his video in regards to Lil Durk being arrested uh, by the feds for the murder for hire thing, okay? Um, I want to respond to something else. Now, in his video that he made, he made a comment, and I want to get a little bit more profound with my response in regards to that comment that he made. He said something about snitches, okay? He said, uh, he said, we got to worry about the cops, the, you know, the justice system, etc. And then he said, we have to worry about snitches. I'm going to play the clip and then I'm going to come back with the commentary. Stick around because I'm going somewhere with it. Check it out. We got to worry about the court system. We got to worry about the district attorney. We got to worry about the police. We got to worry about the snitches. And now we got to worry about the Internet. OK, now you all just heard that, right? He said we have to worry about snitches. Look, I'm going to jump right to it, man. Um, now, Hassan Camp, me personally, I've been following you for a little bit, um, listening to your words of encouragement, um, the hope you give in many of your videos, okay? Um, in many of your videos, it seems that you call out wickedness, okay? Wickedness within our communities. And let me say, respect for that. Respect. Um, but when I heard you say in your video about Lil Dirk, that we have to worry about snitches, I had to take a step back, man. you know, and, and I just had to ponder and wonder about that statement. OK, see, see that line right there makes me wonder if you're lukewarm, bro. Now, now, here's why. When you say we have to worry about snitches, that implies that, you know, we're protecting people doing dirt. Now, don't get me wrong in the streets in street ethics. Yes, snitches are problems, but based upon past videos that I've seen you make, you're not a street guy. You say you don't want to be a street guy. You don't want to be a thug. You don't want to be a guy that's out there um, doing illegal things. You, you say all the time, hey, I'm not a street guy. You say you don't want to be a real nigga. You make numerous videos saying you don't want to be that type of guy. So... Why are you worried about a snitch? Why? I, that doesn't, that confuses me. It's, it, you know, let's be real. Let's be real. The only people who are worried about snitches are the ones who move shady. Okay. If you are a righteous man walking with God, walking upright, trying to, there is no need to fear who's talking because you're not out there doing anything wrong in the first place. The only people who are worried about snitches are the ones who are running illegitimate businesses and doing ungodly things, man. We got to keep it a buck. That's who's worried about a snitch. Okay. People who are legit don't have to look over their shoulders every second. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Okay. Think about it. The dude bringing the fake paperwork into the bank to try to get a loan. He's the one worried about getting snitched on, okay? The guy robbing the bank, he's looking over his shoulder worrying about a snitch, okay? Hell no, I thought you knew the nigga. Nah, man, I don't know that motherfucker. Fuck out of here, man. Shit, over here. Check this out. I don't out. know that motherfucker. <laughs> Snitching, bitch. That is his fat fucking mouth. You see anything? Hmm? Tell me you saw something, motherfucker. You got it, though. You a snitch, too, huh? No. The guy that's cheating on his wife, he's worried about a snitch. The woman that's cheating on her husband, she's worried about a snitch. But the guy that's faithful, the woman that's faithful, they are not worried about snitches. What? What is a snitch going to tell on a faithful spouse? You know, <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? The only people that are obsessed with snitches are people who are doing illegitimate things and running illegitimate practices and running schemes, scams, plots, tricks to try to get over. Those are the ones who are worried about snitches. But people who are walking up right with God, like Hassan Campbell claims that he is, I don't understand why he would be worried about snitches. I don't understand why he would support anyone 
that's worried about snitches. I don't I don't get it. It's like it's like many times, like like in the past, I've heard Hassan Campbell's videos and he speaks against ungodly things, no matter what people think about him. You know, Africa bound bottle. OK, that's 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 here and there. All right. I'm talking about the words that I've heard him speak. He seems to be a guy that's on God's side. OK, he speaks against many things that are not right, that harms uh, the youth and harms people within our community. But then sometimes um, he sends messages that are like he supports those things. One day you're out here calling out the devil's tricks and schemes. And then the next day you're telling us that we have to watch out for a snitch. Y you know, it's like <laughs> it's confusing, man, because why would someone who claims to be a child of God have to worry about a snitch? Listen. You can't ride with God and the devil at the same time. You can't be out here talking about how you are ambassador for Christ. You are riding with God. But then on the other hand, you're out here supporting the devil as well. See, too many of us want to be Jesus and Tony Montana. OK, too many of us want to be Farrakhan and Sonny from a Bronx tale. Too many of us want to be, you know, Les Brown and Kane or Old Dog from Minister Society. You listen, you can't be both. You can't be both. Choose ye this day who you're going to serve, God or the devil. You can't be both. You can't support God and the devil. OK, listen, man, to those who claim to be of God. You can't stand on both sides of the fence, like I just said, period. I just got to throw it out there. I, I, I have to say it. God made it clear. Listen, if you are lukewarm, if you are supporting God and you are a person who, you know, uh, claims to be of God and practices righteousness, etc. OK, but then on the other hand, you're supporting the devil. You're, you're, do, you're out here doing evil things and wicked things that support Satan. Listen. God is not rocking with you. OK, he's not cool with lukewarm people. Revelations 316 says it plain as day. Quote. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Unquote. You can't support righteousness and also support unrighteousness. We have to choose a side. Choose ye this day who you're going to serve, man. So to everyone listening, to everybody who's tuning in right now, I'm saying this. Be legit. All right. Stop moving shady and stop uh, 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 doing ungodly things. man. Stop being an unrighteous person. OK, God is not rocking with people who live in the shadows, worried about who's talking and watching. I know you all have to be tired, you know, scared to death. Of coming outside looking over your shoulders Worrying about who has snitched on you I know you have to be tired Okay Worrying about who's talking Always afraid Scared to go outside Looking over your shoulders Worrying about who's going to run up on you And put something in you Etc Because you're out here living foul When you walk in truth When you walk in truth You have nothing to fear Walk in truth and fear not Fear not When you walk in the shadows And you walk unrighteous And you're out here doing wicked things And trying to cover it up You're always worried about a snitch and Paranoid and looking over your shoulders And hiding You know, scared People who don't Live ungodly lives People who, are, who, who practice righteousness And love God and, and try to stir clear of evil things They are not worried about Snitches because there is nothing to tell. There's nothing to tell. All right. Be legit and you don't have to worry about a snitch. And I'll leave you with this, man. Proverbs 10 and 9 says, quote, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out, unquote. That's as plain as day. Live right. Be legit. And you'll never have to worry about a snitch. Peace.